Britain's controversial former Prime Minister Tony Blair has bid to push his country into yet another military conflict, this time in Syria. In an interview, Blair claimed that the UK should back a US intervention against Damascus in the wake of the alleged chemical attack. The man who teamed up with Washington to invade Iraq in 2003 had this to say. This would be action in support of, of military in intervention by the, the US. If you don't respond to this, to, to the use of chemical we weapons against civilians, then obviously, you know, we're, we're ignoring what the international community has said, which is that this is unacceptable and those that use such me methods should be held to account. Even if we take the action, which I think we, we will have to do, um, it doesn't solve the longer term question of what happens in Syria. I gave the order for British forces to take part in military action in Iraq. My judgment as Prime Minister is that this threat is real, growing and of an entirely different nature to any conventional threat to our security that Britain has faced before. The programme in the form that we thought it was did not exist in the way that we thought. So I can apologise for that. I can also apologise, by the way, for some of the mistakes in planning and certainly our mistake in, in, in our understanding of what would happen once you removed the regime. For all of this, I express more sorrow, regret and apology than you may ever know or can believe. Well, the Iraq inquiry, also known as the Chilcot Report, was published in 2016 and uncovered, quote, mistakes in a six-year-long UK campaign in Iraq. The report revealed that there was no imminent threat to the UK or urgent need for military action against Saddam Hussein's government. It also highlighted that Blair's certainty that Iraq was stockpiling weapons of mass destruction, including chemical and biological agents, was unjustified. The UK lost 179 servicemen and women during the campaign. It also claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands of Iraqi civilians. In 2016, a petition was uploaded on the UK's parliamentary website for the arrest of Blair for his role in the destruction of Iraq. More than 20,000 signed the petition before it was removed. Military analyst Kamal Alam told us that Tony Blair is just following the Western line on Syria. This is all about playing to the gallery. This is all about headlines, Twitter and media. This is not about Syria, what, what's good for Syria. As far as the US, France and UK goes, it's making themselves feel good uh, and patting themselves on the back. Sadly, this is a tried and tested formula of the, of the last seven years. Uh, the West make their mind up even before uh, a minute has passed for any action on the ground. And in this case, the Americans, the Europeans and the British have always wanted to be the judge, jury and executioner. And you can't do that. Any crime that's committed, you, you need to look at the evidence. But if no one wants to look at the evidence, then they want to look the other way.